pleasure, man. We are going to be doing a cooking stream three weekends in a row, so we are going to be uh, we are going to be having one every weekend for you if you feel like. What's up, Halu? How's it going, man? Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday to everybody. Grapes, also known as the breakfast of champions. Ain't nothing wrong with little grapes and milk for breakfast. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> oh man. <clears throat> yeah, rum and coke is also well, rum rum and coke with with eggs. Or I mean uh or I mean with, with grapes. Grapes and milk. Those all of those things, all together. So we are going to be making today. What's up, Great Pino? How's it going? We are going to be making this lemon honey chicken today, and it is absolutely fantastic. I think you guys are all going to really love it. And um, uh, let's see. You never would have imagined you'd be watching a cooking stream on Twitch, and now here we are. Wow. I'm glad I could bring it to you, Pino. Are you doing a whole chicken? Nope, we're not doing a whole chicken. We're going to be using chicken thighs. Uh, for this dish. We're going to go through all of the ingredients that we're going to be using today uh, before we uh, get started. Uh, of course we're going to be using salt and pepper. Uh, I, got, I got my salt over here. Got that there. Salt and pepper. We're going to be using two lemons, one bulb of garlic, one entire thing. We're not going to be using like in like we're not going to be using individual cloves. We're going to be using the whole shebang. We're just going to chop it in half. But so salt, pepper, lemon, garlic. We got some soy sauce that's going to be in there. We got thyme. We got honey, and we got parsley. And also we're the we're going to be using chicken thighs. I'm going to show you uh, show you chicken thighs right now. I got five chicken thighs piled up here. Uh, we're going to need to trim off some of the fat. Uh, chicken thighs. This is of course dark meat on the chicken. And it is, it's very, it's quite fatty. You can see there's a lot of fat on it and we're going to cut some of that off. Not all of it, I don't know. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. We'll get to that after we get the other stuff prepped up. But so again, we got chicken thighs, we got lemons, we got garlic, soy sauce, thyme, honey, parsley and salt and pepper. Yeah, we're definitely not interested in doing in one entire chicken. The only other thing we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be using a little bit of water if we need to to make sure that uh, the sauce doesn't like burn or anything like that because essentially what we're going to be doing is we're going to be um, we're going to be starting off the chicken in the pan by itself and then we're going to be adding in um, you know lemon, the garlic, and so like we're going to be making a sauce like in the pan with the chicken while it continues to cook and so uh, with the chicken thighs uh, by themselves, these are deboned chicken thighs at the store I didn't get, to, I got deboned chicken thighs so we're not going to be showing boning, boning them today but um, if you are using uh, chicken thighs and, and or drumsticks with uh, chicken legs um, on the bone then the cook time is going to be a lot different. Uh, I really like using the chicken thighs uh, deboned and then like kind of you know spread a little thin so that way they cook a lot faster because I tried making the dish the first time with uh, with you know chicken thighs uh, or with uh, with uh, drumsticks on the bone and it took way too long to cook and I wasn't super uh, happy with the amount of like it just had to sit on the stove for like such a long time in the sauce and it felt like it was kind of uh, a little unnecessary, so I definitely would prefer using the chicken thighs in this particular recipe. Spread your thighs. Check. That's right, hero. That's right. Okay, so uh, we're going to start off with uh, the the non-chicken chopping that we have to do, and then I'll bring in my. I got a I got a smaller cutting board. You can kind of see it over here. I'm going to be bringing that over when we actually uh, do the chicken. I'm not. I don't like doing like raw stuff on this cutting board because it's a really really big cutting board and it doesn't like fit in the sink so it's like kind of hard to clean like super super well so I like trying to do um, like raw stuff on, a, on the smaller cutting board because it fits in the sink easy you can wash it a lot a lot better but anyway so we're going to be doing this stuff first and uh, 
So for the garlic, like I said, all we're going to be doing here is we're just going to be cutting this like directly in half. So I'm just going to kind of hold it, hold it as hold it as uh, firm as I can. We're just going to cut it right down the middle like that, and then it kind of all stays together. Now sometimes I've cut some of these in half before. Okay, and like we got some kind of like brown, kind of nasty garlic cloves in there, and just scoop them out. So whatever, like so every once in a while there's a nasty one in there. There's one like little brown spot on this one piece of garlic. It's gonna be fine. I'm gonna leave that right there for right now. And the next thing we're gonna do, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna quick wipe off my knife here. Garlic it leaves a whole ton of starch, so I don't really feel like having that on my knife causing it to become really sticky. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut up the lemon. So we're going to use one lemon, we're going to kind of slice it a little, a little thin, and we're just going to be throwing like the slices of lemon into the pan with the chicken. And the other one, we're just, I'm just going to slice it in half, and I'm just going to squeeze the, the juice of the other lemon in it. Don't really need to do that. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of trim the ends off of this one. And I have a little, I just, what, what a lot of, some people do or, uh, is they like, have a bowl. Like it's, it's good to have like a trash bin like right next to you when you're cooking. It makes things a lot easier. I just have like a plastic bag from the grocery store. Just, I have like so many of them from, you know, just whatever. You get them from shopping. So I just take one and I set it to the side. You can hear that? I just threw it in the bag. So when I'm done cooking, I take the bag, tie it up, throw it in the garbage outside or in the trash can in the house if it's not that much. Nah. <laughs> That's what we're here for, Edgex. We gotta make you hungry again. We gotta get you hungry and out there for more. Okay, so as always, when we're doing slicing with our knife, we always wanna keep our fingertips back behind our knuckles, and it is kind of a bit of a thing. I don't really talk about it too much, but uh, if you let your thumb slide forward, that's the one thing to be mindful of, not to let your thumb just get lazy and kinda slide in front of your knuckles either, because then you're gonna, you're gonna nick yourself, and that's not good. But either way, so we're going to keep my thumb back as well, keep my fingertips behind my knuckles. Just going to slice down, get some nice thin slices on the lemon. I really like slicing lemon even, I mean for whatever, just because it's really a, just a fantastic smell. And it, uh, I don't know, I just like using lemon on all kinds of stuff even if it doesn't need it just because, just get that wonderful citrus, it's awesome. And then this other lemon, like I said, we're going to slice that one right in half. Cool. So now, we got our lemon, we got our garlic. That's all that we're going to have to do as far as, um, as, far as cutting other non-chicken things goes. The chicken, we're going to just be trimming off the fat, uh, and that's it. I do need to get a spoon. And that is going to be for the honey. Um, I'll do that later. Okay. So, uh, so we got the, the lemons and the garlic all set up here. I always want to get all this stuff ready uh, right off the bat because, you know, we don't want to be starting our, our dish and like have to be like, oh shit, like I forgot to do this. And then like, we're not paying attention to one thing, we're rushing, and there's really no, no need to rush. Just, uh, just plan ahead, get the first slicing stuff out of the way, and it's going to make your life a whole lot easier, okay? All right, so like I said, I'm going to get this... Uh, other cut and board over here. I'm going to get this business out of the way, I suppose. I guess I'll just slide this up like this, get this off to the side. Good. Okay. No, uh, oh yeah, yeah, you could you you can use chicken breasts, but I mean, uh, I've, I've never made it with chicken breasts. I don't see why you couldn't do it. I guess it could uh, maybe get a little dried out because of the time that it kind of sits in the pan. But um, I think the thing that's kind of nice about this dish and using a dark meat on, uh, so for chicken thighs or if you're using drumsticks or whatever, uh, is that it's a lot cheaper than chicken breast. So you can kind of get it, you know, pennies on the dollar, not quite that much of a difference, but you can get it a lot cheaper than you can chicken breasts. So. If you've never had chicken thighs before, they're freaking fantastic, so I definitely would recommend doing that. Okay, 
So like I said, we're going to be kind of trimming up the fat a little bit here. Now the bone used to be inside of this portion like right here. It used to kind of be wrapped up like this, right? So if uh, sometimes you end up with a little bit of uh, kind of grizzle and like there's a, like a little vein kind of here. And we're just going to kind of make sure to kind of trim that stuff right out of there as well. But every once in a while you kind of end up, you got to check like the, the kind of top and the bottom here. Uh, and if you're doing it yourself, obviously you should do, just, just be able to check that while you're doing it. But, um, that looks pretty good. But like you can kind of get a little little bits of bone or like a little bit of gristle, kind of where the where the joint was if it wasn't like cut properly or whatever. So so that's definitely worth worth noting. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of trim a little bit of this fat off here. There we go. Don't need to get all the fat off of here. It's not really that big of a deal, but uh, I do want to kind of just get a little bit of it off because it's a little, it's a little bit too fatty, too fatty. And if you can, kind of getting rid of uh, the silver skin kind of stuff that's kind of going on here. You can kind of see it, kind of, kind of being shimmery right here. That would be that would be nice to be able to get off. I don't know. It's not that big of a deal but it can uh, like what you kind of got to do is kind of get a start start cut and then you can kind of get get a hold of it and then you can kind of just kind of trim just run your knife and just keep keep giving it tension and then you can kind of uh, kind of just pull it away as you're kind of slicing it off but it's really not the end of the world if you if you leave that stuff on. It's not going to make it taste nasty. It's just sometimes you can uh, kind of get a little bit of tough bits in it, and you can kind of uh, when you have like the the kind of the kind of hard you know, like it like when it cooks, it kind of like it tenses up, and it can kind of pull the chicken together and kind of uh, prevent it from cooking evenly. But it's really not too big of a deal. So again, I'm just going to cut this fat off here. Otherwise, this is looking fine. Like there's a little bit, a little bit extra here. Let me get that off. Got a good bit of fat on on them chicken thighs, but it's okay. I mean, if you if you end up leaving like all the fat on the chicken, then you're gonna kind of end up with a with a with it being pretty pretty damn greasy. So, I mean, I would definitely recommend cutting at least a little bit of the of the fat off. And we just got five uh, chicken thighs going on here, and really, it's like for the for the pan, we're using a nonstick pan for this. Um, this is actually kind of a, a bit of a brown piece of the chicken right here. I don't like the looks of that right there. Not looking kind of like the rest of it. Kind of looking a little bit darker, so I'm going to cut that off. It's okay otherwise. We're using a nonstick pan, of course. Well, not, not of course, but that's what we're using. We're just going to be cooking it on the stove top. It's not going in the oven afterwards or anything like that. That's another thing I really like about this is using the chicken thighs. It's really... Uh, uh, since uh, when they're deboned like this, and they're going to be able to be kind of spread out nice and thin, because if they're on the bone, you know they're kind of all bunched up, right? So this is kind of clumped up on this side, so you can kind of see like this is like this side. Sorry, can't really see. So this side is kind of bunched up here, and I can't like really spread it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of take this and just kind of cut it, cut at it a little bit, like just cut into it, so that way it can kind of just spread out evenly because we want it to be able to cook nice and even right so perfect all right we'll get that off of there too i suppose all right and a big chunk of fat here gotta get that off beautiful Looking fine. I was trying to make sure that it lays flat. 
But as far as like how much chicken you use, I've made this before with just two chicken thighs. You could make as many as many as you can jam in the pan. You're fine. You're fine to use really. So this kind of bit is a little. This kind of bit is just hanging on there. I'm going to use that. I'm just going to go ahead and trim it off, or at least so it can kind of lay lay off by itself. I don't want it to bunch up and prevent the chicken from kind of cooking the way that I want it. And I'm going to go ahead and just trim off this little bit of fat here too. Cool. All right. Now we're looking pretty, pretty damn good. Pam Jam Slam, Space Jam. You know, I always thought after playing Stardew Valley, the one thing that Space Jam was in fact missing was a little Pam action. I definitely can see that. All right, so we're done with the slicing here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set my knife off to the side. I'll clean that later. And I have a little bleach water set off to the side, so I just kind of run my hands through that. I can kind of get the chicken off my hands really nice with that. All right, so I'm going to take this plate away. Don't need that. And I'm going to go ahead and start getting the heat going on my, on my pan. We're going to kind of get a medium-high heat going. Get it on a, I got it on a 7 on the stove top there. And with this uh, with this pan, or with this, uh, uh, you don't need to do like any kind of uh, uh, a pan where you like have to be ready to throw it in the oven or anything like that. If you do, if you do use it with uh, with like the chicken, like the drumsticks and stuff, like then you can maybe, I don't know, like, just because in my experience, like, they take a really long time to cook, so it would have been easier if I were to just, like, throw it in the oven after, after, like, I had, uh, kind of, kind of gotten the sauce already, or whatever, but it would have been, it would have been nice to be able to throw it in the oven after, after I kind of got everything all together, just for the last, like, five, ten minutes or something like that, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and season here, we're going to get some salt and pepper on all of this chicken thighs. Good. Got my pepper grinder. If you don't have a pepper grinder, there's nothing wrong with that. You can use uh, a pepper shaker, that's fine. Once I tried uh, the difference between the two, what's up T Bloom? How goes your Sunday? Once I tried pepper from a grinder, I like never went back. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I couldn't go back. I, I like it too much. Good. And we're going to wait for our pan to get nice and rip roaring hot here. What's up, Bombay Show? How goes your Sunday, sir? Uh, so, once this gets nice and hot, we're going to get a good amount of uh, oil in the pan. I use peanut oil. You can use whatever oil you have handy. Damn, damn it, Eco. Well, you gotta go make some food after the stream. If you're hungry, you gotta go make the lemon honey chicken that we're doing. Jeez. Alright. Just gonna go ahead and. Just flick a little water on there. I'm waiting to see uh, how, hot it, how hot it is. We, w we definitely want, when we put our chicken in the pan, we wanna hear that sear. It's gonna develop a whole lot of flavor. So, we definitely want to make sure that it's nice and hot. And it's just about getting there. It's definitely a nice thing about the, uh, what, what if motor oil is the only oil I have on hand? Then you're going to have a pretty, uh, a pretty nasty dish, to be honest. I don't know. I don't know. That doesn't sound too pleasant. <laughs> Next time on Cooking with Billy, cooking with motor oil, what to do? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get a pretty good coat of, uh, of oil on the bottom of the pan here. It's probably a good few tablespoons there. And we're going to put this with the salt and pepper side down. I'm going to throw some more salt and pepper on the top of it um, once it's in there. Again. 
that sizzle was that you hear, then when you put it in the pan, that's what you want to hear. If you don't hear that, then you need to, you should really just take it out of the pan. You don't want it to sit there and have it heat up in the pan, because you're not going to get the really nice seared flavor. That Maillard reaction is definitely a huge factor in creating a lot of flavor. So again, I'm not like, like don't, don't like throw the chicken in the pan. You see how like set it in there, set it in there, because there's a good bit of grease in the pan. So if you just throw the chicken in, you're going to get grease splashed on you. But if you just kind of don't be afraid of the heat, you just place it in the pan and you're not going to burn yourself, right? Run my hands through that sanitizing solution once again. Yeah, that's that's exactly that's some top gear stuff. Just cook, just cook it in the, just cook it in motor oil on the engine block. It's gonna be fine. Got some juice there from the lemons. That's fine. So like I said, we're gonna go ahead and uh, throw a little bit more salt and pepper on top here. One thing I never leave home without, or leave, enter the kitchen without, is a nice pair of tongs for dealing with, uh, dealing with, uh, you know, chicken or meats or like anything like that in the pan where it's kind of hard to like handle. Uh, as far as like if I was just trying to flip this over like with a couple of forks, something like that, these are a freaking lifesaver. What's up, Gunner Brick? Hell like, yeah, we're cooking. What's up, day night? How's it going? Mysterious saxophone. Hammond would only be able to make beans, but he has to use the motor oil, so he just sort of dumps, just dumps the motor, motor oil in. Clarkson would definitely eat it, you go, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, uh, we are cooking the next three Sundays in a row. Otherwise, normally, as of right now, it's every, every three Sundays, but we do have a bit of a cooking extravaganza going on, so we are doing the next three weekends all all cooked streams. Next weekend we're going to be doing Eggs Benedict. We're going to show you guys how to do that. Alright, so we're going to be looking to see what kind of color we got on the chicken here. Not quite there. I'm going to kind of give it a little jostle just to make sure that it's uh, not sticking to the pan at all. What's up Kuno? Happy Sunday to you. Good morning. Is that a, is that a Doctor Who cookie jar? Well, that's actually the fridge. That's what that is. That's the fridge. We actually place all of our goods in, in that TARDIS. What's up, Tomato? How's it going, man? Good to have you back. Okay, looking pretty good. Starting to get some nice color. Let me go ahead and get them all turned over here. that little chicken tidbit there. All right, so now we've got it flipped over, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these halves of the garlic bunches that I have, just cut the whole thing in half. I'm going to place these face down in the pan. I'm just going to kind of make a little room for them. And if, they, if some of them fall out, it's really not a big deal. It's really not. Gonna kind of push those in there. Very really good. Now, if you if you're doing a smaller amount of chicken here, what I usually do is I just take a couple of cloves out and I just I just mash them with the skin on, throw them right in there with the skin. We're not gonna be like uh, we're not gonna we're, we're not gonna worry about the stuff that's like in the pan. We're just gonna be kind of scooping the sauce out of the pan and putting it over top. Of, of the chicken, right? So, just gonna kind of wait till we get some color on the other side of the chicken. And then we're gonna be throwing some soy sauce in. Thanks, tomato. Yeah, it's smelling freaking delicious. 
Yeah, it's bigger on the inside. Yeah, of course, of course it's the fridge, T. Bloom. Come on, of course it's the fridge. We're gonna be using about um, like a couple of tablespoons about of uh, of soy sauce, and um, like it's if you're using, I mean, it's just really kind of the flavor. We'll be able to kind of give it a taste, and then we can, if we want it to be a little bit more salty, we can put in a little bit more soy sauce. And if we want it to be a little bit more sweet, we'll end up being able to put in a little bit more honey, etc. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and throw in some soy sauce. Give it some good shakes there. You can see it kind of starting to boil up there. That's all good. And as of right now, I'm going to go ahead and throw in the lemon slices and the lemon, uh, and I'm going to squeeze in uh, the other lemon that I have sliced. So I got the one lemon that I cut into slices here. I'm going to go ahead and throw those on. And I'm going to squeeze both these lemons in here. If you're not as big of a fan of lemon, you don't have to squeeze this in. I don't know if the particular recipe that I uh, saw called for this, but I just really like the lemon. Freaking awesome, so we'll squeeze that in. If you get the seeds in, doesn't matter. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be fine. What's up, Wolina? How's it going, man? Happy Sunday to you. All right. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, sprinkle in a bunch of thyme here. As far as like how much thyme you use, if you're using fresh thyme. Um, I think you could probably get away with like just chopping like a, I don't know, like a probably a tablespoon in or something like that. This time, well maybe not a tablespoon, like a half a tablespoon I guess, but this time that I have is kind of old and uh, it's kind of losing a bit of its, it's losing a bit of its potency. So it's, it's not going to be quite as, as, uh, as much of a flavor as I want, so I'm going to be putting, putting quite a bit. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and flip the chicken. We're going to see a nice dark color because of that soy sauce kind of cooking in there. Look at that. That is freaking awesome. Kind of got this one lemon underneath of this chicken. That's really not too big of a deal, but I just want to make sure that the uh, chicken's not being stopped from cooking the way that I want it to. Man, this lemon is a mamma jamma right here. Look at this. Come on, get out of here. There you go, you jerk. All right. So now, like I talked about, we might be wanting to use a little bit of water here. I'm going to go grab a little bit of water. Because you can see it's kind of starting to get kind of thin in the bottom. You can kind of see the sauce. It's kind of kind of starting to get a little thin, but we're not done with it yet. So I'm going to add, this is a, it's about a quarter cup. This is a half a cup thing. This is a little bit half than that. I'm not even, I think I'm going to put half of this in there. So about an eighth of a cup. Oh. All right, a little bit, a little bit more. Almost, almost a quarter cup of, uh, of water I'm going to add in there. It's all good. You want some? We're gonna have to go make it. You're gonna have to go make it, exotic. Holy time, Batman! Like I said, it's uh, if like if you were to smell this compared to like smelling some fresh time, you'd be like, "You sure that's time? You sure that's time?" Because <laughs> it's pretty old, so it's really it's not too big of a deal. So you can kind of see like all of this uh, all of this thing to kind of continue to boil here. And I'll be turning the chicken a couple of times. We don't want to like boil the chicken. So like putting too much water in there is not uh, not really what you want to be doing. Um, I'm just kind of trying to make sure that it does that the sauce doesn't like burn, right? Too young to make it. Well, I mean, if you kind of get the get a help get a hand from the from a family member, it's going to be all good. It's going to be all good. You guys can make it together. So, um, towards the end here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the parsley in now, I guess. 
I could probably just finish it with the parsley. That's probably going to be fine. I'm going to get the honey open here at least. We're going to be using about a couple of tablespoons of honey. And kind of honey is, uh, is a little bit of a pain to use in, in my opinion. Like this one is like a just kind of an open top thing. So I kind of got to like get a spoon in there and just kind of like lift it out and kind of like just kind of coax it into the pan. And I've tried like pouring it and it like really doesn't work very well. So I would probably recommend like getting one with like kind of a, a bit of like a, a squirt kind of a top, you know, just kind of a, a like a, uh, so that way you can kind of just turn it upside down and just like squirt how much you want in. Cause this is like a little bit difficult to use for me uh, personally, but uh, that's all right. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the chicken again here. So you can see, kind of see the sauce is really starting to uh, kind of boil down. I'm going to turn the heat down just a little bit here. Chicken is definitely starting to come together. So again, I'm going to kind of just scoop out this honey. Just kind of, kind of let it drizzle off of the spoon here. And I'm going to have to go in for another big scoop. All right, that's looking good. If you wanted to use more honey, that's perfectly fine. It's really not going to, it's not going to mess anything up. It's not like it's uh, going to, like, you're not going to overpower the dish generally. I don't, I don't feel like it's going to kind of scrape that out of the spoon there. I'll turn the heat down a little bit too much. I'm going to turn it back up just a little bit. All right. Go with that. All right. So that's really going to kind of thicken up the sauce, and that's what we kind of want. We want it to be able to really, um, really kind of, stick to the chicken and when we like kind of spoon it over we really want it to be nice and thick you can kind of see it's like really that honey it's like really making the bubbles really big because it's really kind of thickening it up making it really freaking awesome i'm going to go ahead and turn the chicken one more time make sure that we get that chicken covered all or that that chicken covered with the honey Good, and we're just gonna kind of let this go for a while and kind of reduce it, reduce it down just a little bit. Now, if your chicken is like uh, for for chicken for dark meat, like it's if you cook it for a little bit too long, it's not gonna be too bad. It's kind of hard to dry it out. It's very moist. Um, <laughs> look. You're not squirting your honey. It's not going to be a good time. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put in parsley here. This parsley is like uh, really difficult to kind of get through the the, the shaker. It's just not going to fucking work at all. So I'm going to go ahead and just open it up, and I'll get a uh, spoon. Nah, I'll just grab a I'll just grab a butter knife. That's fine. And we're looking for about like two tablespoons of parsley here. It's not like a, what, what do you recommend as a side to go with the chicken? Um, I'll kind of discuss what's going to go with the side when I kind of start to uh, kind of get into the plating portion. Curl. I think so. What's up, Rich the Best? Today, you get us a critical eat. Yeah, we're getting critical eats. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of get the parsley. spread out over the top here. It's not like an overpowering flavor, it's just going to kind of give it a nice, um, it's going to kind of just round the dish out. It's kind of a nice, nice thing to finish a lot of stuff with, I guess. All right. You can see it really kind of bubbling up quite a bit, getting really nice and thick, which is exactly what we want. I'm going to go ahead and turn the chicken one more time. Now, put this cover back on the honey. You got it, hero. You got it. Absolutely. All right. I'm going to go ahead and probably get a plate here. 
If if the chicken though, oh yeah, that's what I was saying. I was saying it's kind of hard to overcook the uh, the chicken thighs, but you do if you're if you are cooking this on the bone, like I said, it is going to take a while longer. And if you do cook it on the stove top, what I uh, had to do and what I would recommend doing is uh, is using a thermometer to check the chicken to make sure that it is cooked thoroughly. Uh, with the chicken thighs deboned and kind of spread thin, they do cook very evenly, and so that's nice. But uh, when you're doing it on the drumsticks, like on you know on the bone, and when it's all kind of the chicken's all bunched up, it can't the he the heat can't uh, kind of get to it as as well. So I would definitely recommend tapping the chicken unless you're really familiar with cooking with uh, cooking with drumsticks and chicken thighs like on the bone, which I personally am not. So I did need to do do that uh, double check. All right, let me get a let me get a plate here. If you are though overcooking the chicken, if it's if it's like okay, I think the chicken's done. Uh, you you know you, you check it and it is, and uh, you're like, well, the sauce is too thin. Like I need it thicker. Then go ahead and pull the chicken out of the pan. It's fine. Just pull the chicken out of the pan and let the sauce reduce. It's it's gonna be fine. There's no need to panic. All right. I'm gonna get a spoon here. I'm gonna get a small spoon. I'm gonna give this a taste. Really good. Awesome. Like we have a lot of really great flavors going on with the we have salty soy sauce we have um, you know sweet with the with the honey we have sour with the lemon like it's just really like when you when you when you taste it it just like fills your whole mouth with flavor I'm going to turn the heat off here like if it needed a little bit more salt you could add in a little bit of soy sauce not a problem You can kind of see like with the sauce if I like kind of spread the chicken away like you look at the sauce run like that's if we like kind of put a we kind of like scrape it up and like kind of see how it doesn't like it doesn't like instantly just fill back like if it was water you know if we push it out of the way it just goes and just kind of refills the spot but when we kind of push it out of the way it kind of leaves a it leaves a bit of a gap and it takes a little bit of time good way to tell how thick the sauce is right so got a fantastic freaking color on this chicken and it smells great let me tell you sauce is not nice and thick so I'm gonna get some plating going on here see this one that's like really nice and got a whole lot of nice color on it and uh, we're gonna we're gonna throw it all on the plate here Look at that. I don't have any more pieces of chicken in here. Remember, like I said, like all this stuff here, you know, it's not a big deal. If you want to kind of uh, plate it kind of kind of fancy, you kind of take one of some of the nicer looking looking lemons, or you could slice some fresh lemons and put them over top here. But I think the ones that were in the pan with that nice uh, nice coloration on it look fantastic. Not that one. That one's missing the center of it. But, uh, but those couple of them look nice. Let me go ahead and set this off to the side. I'm going to take a nice big spoon here. I need to get the smell to you guys. I know, I do. So I'm going to just kind of pull it to the side. I'm not going to just pour it out of the pan onto it. I just kind of want to kind of get my spoon in there. You can kind of see. It's not like, it's not like, like honey going down, but it is, it is thick. It is, it is the consistency that we're looking for. So we're just going to go ahead and drizzle that on. Because it's all about this, this, uh, this sauce. If you're not uh, getting a good coverage of the sauce on the chicken, then uh, it's not going to taste as good. So that looks freaking fantastic. All right, now as far as as far as um, <clears throat> as far as what to serve with uh, this this chicken, what I would definitely uh, there's a there's you know, like you could serve all kinds of stuff with it, really. I mean, anything that can go with chicken can go with this. 
what I think is going to be like some of the best stuff to go with it. If you want to serve like uh, mashed potatoes with this, um, uh, that would be fantastic. If you wanted to use uh, green beans, green beans. If you enjoy green beans, you're gonna have that's gonna go perfect with this. And um, yeah, I would definitely recommend like so something along those lines. So that is uh, yeah, you could do rice with it. Um, you know, rice with it, you could do sweet potatoes, you could do normal potatoes, you could do you could do green beans, you could do whatever. It's going to be really fantastic. But definitely, I would say like green beans or, or mashed potatoes would definitely go really, really awesome with this. And uh, you can see, you can see like the nice, the nice color that we have on the chicken and the nice, uh, it's just like really nice, the sauce is really able to stick to it. It's not like running loose throughout the plate. So getting it really nice and nice and thick so that it sticks to the chicken. Definitely, definitely, definitely what you want to be doing. <clears throat> so I have this like, um, this like little uh, trash bag that I had off to the side. See, I have that little bag. I already, I'm already, I'm already done, done with that part of the cleaning because we had a little thing side all, all ready to go, just ready to throw in the trash. So that's uh, that's pretty freaking awesome. The juice is in fact not loose. So yeah, that is the lemon honey chicken and uh, it's something I originally saw um, Gordon Ramsay do on like some thing I saw on YouTube. Like if you look up like lemon honey chicken for uh, for Gordon Ramsay, like he was the one I saw make it first and I was like wow I gotta try that and I made it many years ago and it wasn't really like quite up to like what I what I wanted it to be. And then when I redid it uh, for a test cook, um, it wasn't really up to snuff for me. I didn't really enjoy it a whole lot. That was when I did it with um, with the chicken on the bone, and I didn't really like the amount of cook time and the amount of mess that it made. And so I redid it a couple of times, and I definitely would highly recommend using it with the chicken thighs, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. If you do use it with the skin, that's totally fine. Uh, just really make sure you crisp up that uh, chicken skin. That's a really good flavor there, for sure. But that's that's that. This is, this is gonna get 111 percent. Yeah, more than 110 percent of stress reduction by eating this ditch. Rich for sure. All right. So so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, again, what we used was uh, for this we had a total of five um, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. We had um, we had soy sauce. We used honey parsley and thyme for that and uh, we had one whole bulb of garlic and I just cut it in half put that face down into the pan like if you if you look at the if you look at the garlic like it's 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 uh, it's really kind of it's really like kind of mushy and it's really kind of it's not like overpowering the dish with garlic but it's uh, it's kind of like added a good nice complexity to the dish for sure. So absolutely do that. And then I had two whole lemons. One I sliced thin and just placed it in the pan. And then another one I just cut in half and squeezed into the dish. So yeah, I hope you guys I hope you guys had a good time. I had a fantastic time. If you guys didn't already know, I am uh, a full time streamer. I do here. I am here seven days a week. I'm here starting at generally 2 p.m. Eastern every single day. For the next two weekends following this one, we will be doing a cooking stream. Uh, next weekend, we're going to be doing Eggs Benedict. Going to be showing you guys how to make hollandaise sauce, how to poach eggs. Um, um, hollandaise sauce, poach eggs. We're gonna, well, I don't think I need to show you how to cook up a slab of ham, but ham is another thing that's going to be going on it as well and then of course it's uh, going to be on a, a toasted English muffin so that's what we're going to be doing next week for sure um, yeah that's right bon appetit <laughs> so as uh, like I said uh, I will be here and it's 11.50 right now uh, so I'll be here in a couple of hours we're going to be doing uh, I'm thinking we're going to play FTL today we're going to play maybe one or two runs of FTL and then I'm going to switch to something, I don't know, maybe Papers, Please, or something along that afterwards. Uh, that's what we got, we got planned for today. So, as I always say, thank you so much for hanging out with me. 
Whether you were chatting or lurking, I hope you had a fantastic time. We'll catch you later, Taz, Kuro, Tigru, Failstar, Exotic, Red Slowpoke, Bombay, Pino, Hero. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon. I'll be back in two hours for my standard stream. And we're going to be getting, like I said, some FTL action in. So enjoy the rest of your afternoons. If I don't see you tonight, enjoy the rest of your evening. And we'll catch you then, all right, buds? We'll catch you later. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed. It's absolutely... I wish you could smell it, because it's absolutely amazing. Catch you later, Wolina. Low Extreme. See you later. Have a good one, okay? Peace.